Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hey, listen. Now, before you go for a ride, there's some things that we need to talk about. All right. Number one, I want you to know that you really have no rights. You only have the right to come back to me alive. Okay. If they're giving you a hard time or acting disrespectful towards you, let it go. We'll deal with it once you get home. You've never shown a responsibility to me and your mother. But we need to talk about some things going on in the world that we may not be around to protect you from. If you ever get pulled over by an officer, there's some things I need for you to know, okay? Stand tall, look him in the eye, and say, hey, what am I getting pulled over for? If a cop gets loud with you, you tell me you know your rights. And your dad knows a district attorney. That's right, honey. I mean, for God's sakes, we pay their salaries. And we donate, too. Yeah, don't forget those donations. And when they see you in that nice car, a lot of times they're going to think you don't belong in that nice car. I want you to always keep your hands at 10 and 2, all right? Because if they do come up to the car, I don't want anything to look like you're being threatening in any kind of way. Because the first thing and the only thing they usually say, that they were in fear of their life, okay? You don't want to create any fear. I want you to have your papers available, your registration, your license, and everything else, that you could set it up on the dashboard. Don't go into the glove box, okay? Don't do it. Remember, Barack Obama put those body cams in place for a reason. I'll just pull up my phone and record them. Yeah, you could do that. Now, your mother, if she were here, I know there's things that she'd want to tell you, too. That you were more important. Always were more important to her than any car. No more than three guys in the vehicle, okay? Uh, you don't want to have a car full because that's always going to draw a suspicion with law enforcement. Also, if you're driving and you see that you are being followed, who's ever in the back seat, you inform them, don't turn around. Because once they turn around, they're going to look like there's something that you have to hide or something that's going on. If you don't believe that, tell them your dad knows the judges. Because I do. If you've done nothing wrong, you tell them they ain't got probable cause. You tell them that flat out. Don't ever touch a cop. But point your finger at him in disgust. That always worked for me. I remember one time your father went totally bananas on this cop that pulled us over for not signaling. But we did signal. Because otherwise, I'm telling you, you don't want to be in an accident. I want you coming home to me, son. Be confident. Okay. This is America. <laughs> Got this for you because, hey, man, I love you, you know. And it's something that I know that you, you've been a good kid and everything that you've done. I'm glad that you have it. But I want you to know that it's just a car. But you have to know the other rules of the road. It's not just the rules in the book. There's some unspoken rules that you need to know. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. All right then, come on, let's go. I want you to take me for a spin. <laughs> 